So I have something that's going to definitely help many different people um, with um, being able to isolate their social media apps from um, mining on their um, on their device, um, collecting data, uh, draining your battery, and things like that. So I was on a uh, right after the eclipse. I went on Reddit. I was trying to figure out how to set up a work profile on my phone to be able to um, basically uh, lock down the phone to where the social media apps won't run in the background consistently. And so um, I went to different types of apps called um, Shelter. Um, so I'm going to show you what that looks like. I've done a video on this with the Moto review. Um, Shelter is one of them. Island is another one. And what this does is it basically just creates a sandbox environment to install apps that would typically mine um, data in the background and run in the background um, to basically um, have the ability to control it and shut it down. Um, and so here, um, there's there's another one called Insular, but I, I didn't find it on the Play Store. But I just so happened to find another app called Test DPC, and it's by it's by Sample Developer. I'm not sure if it's Google, if it's Android who makes this, but it's it's really cool stuff. Now, when you tap on install, it's going to then obviously install it on the on um, right in your apps list. And so here um, you can see two different variants of the app. One that says set up uh, uh, test DPC. So we're going to tap on that one. We're going to then um, basically for me, I'm going to hit skip encryption. And that's just because I'm not sure if I can record over in an encrypted area um, just for the sake of this video. But y'all typically want to make sure that the that the um, work profile is encrypted. So um, here, accept and continue, you're going to tap on that. And so about Shelter, Insular, and Island, the problem is, is that those apps, every time it gets to this point where you're trying to set up the work profile, the whole Android OS will lock up and it will then reboot your phone. So when you see this screen right here, it will stop. You can't control your buttons. You can't even get the get to the notification center. It will pause for about a couple of minutes, and then you will see um, your splash screen pull up, and the whole Android OS basically uh, crashes and restarts. Here with Test DPC, it does not do that. And so basically, um, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and hit Add an Account. And for the sake of my security, I'm just going to pause the video. And I'll be right back. All right, since I'm signed in, I'm going to go ahead and confirm my two-factor authentication, push it through, and it's going to show these screens here. And the reason why those apps wouldn't work in the first place is because of this. So... As you can see here, under Android version 13, um, Shelter, for some reason, Island, and Insular, they do not work because of um, new Android security policies to keep third-party apps from creating work profiles on your device. Um, I'm not sure about corp corporations and um, their IT department apps uh, could be experiencing similar issues. But in case if, if um, you're trying to use any of these apps, this is a great workaround. Um, this is, again, running on a Google Pixel 6. And this is what it's going to look like once it's all set up and done. So when you do a work profile, it sets up a second copy of Play Store. And you can duplicate apps and then uninstall the ones under, under your main system. And this is basically like a sandbox environment to keep apps from running in the background all day of your phone. And again, collecting information about you that you may not want to have collected. So um, typically, again, corporations use this to isolate their work emails to keep people from being able to uh, create apps that will infiltrate your, your email and collect um, sensitive information on the corporation using your work email. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and install the light versions of Facebook and Messenger, uh, Instagram, um, obviously TikTok, Snapchat, um, 
There's another one that I like to use for two-factor authentication, though I get a lot of spam. Um, let's see. Um, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. I feel like I'm missing one. Oh, yeah. Can't forget this one. And I always put Discord on here, too. Because you never know these days. I might as well get Indeed. Not Indeed, but LinkedIn. And that might as well be the same. Um, and so when it's all said and done, it creates a copy of these apps and keeps it separate from your main system, which is very, very crucial because you don't want these apps to collect information from, I don't know, um, you know, anything about your banks or about like other sensitive apps that may carry sensitive information. And so once all said and done, basically you can go through and start setting up um, your your social media accounts and then when you're done you can hit turn off work apps and boom that's it they can't run in the background they're not going to drain your battery it's not going to consistently be um an annoyance with notifications now when you do turn it on it's like if you turn on an android that has been turned off the whole day so just expect a flood of notifications coming through um and just know that if you do attach a google account under this workspace just know that um, it's going to be um, most likely uh, any information from your Google account will be shared with those apps um, behind the scenes. So if you don't want your Google information being shared, just make sure that you install uh, test DPC from my Discord or from the video as an APK. Make sure you turn on unknown source so that you can install it and then just don't set up a Google, Google account. Um, so again, all the Play Store link will be there under in the description of this video, as well as the APK link, uh, probably from a APK Mirror, um, and then also on my Discord, um, it will be on on under my Android apps uh, channel. Um, but this should help give you a workaround for any new devices running Android 13 that's going to keep you from being able to. Um, you know, being able to install a work profile via through Shelter, Installer, or Island. Now, from what I understand is that, again, Android security policies are in place to keep um, third-party apps from creating work profiles, um, especially without an IT um, department um, to provide the certificates and the provisioning. Uh, so it, just keep that in mind um, that those developers are still trying to work on making their apps compatible. But this is a great workaround for you in case if you definitely need what I have uh, just to be able to protect your privacy and, and um, to help with performance of your phone as well as to make sure that they're not going to just drain your battery. Um, so I hope you have a uh, blessed day. Thank you again uh, for watching another uh, TikTok or YouTube video of mine. Please make sure you hit that follow button, hit subscribe, you know, may all the glory go to God. And thank you again.